Hello and welcome to News Now on Ibran TV. My name is Bernard Joseph and here are the stories we're reporting at this hour. The former chairman of the defunct Pension Reform Tax Force team, Abdul Rashid Mayna, in the earlier hours of today collapsed in the dock during the resumed hearing in his 2 billion naira money laundry trial at the Federal High Court in Abuja. The sitting was scheduled for the hearing of the defendant's no-case submission following the close of the prosecution's case with nine witnesses earlier on Wednesday. The defense lawyer Anayo Adibe was briefing the judge, Justice Okon Abang, that his team had yet to receive the records of proceedings requested from the court's registry when a loud third of Mayna's fall drew attention to the dock. Prison officials immediately rushed to attend to him. Meanwhile, prominent senior advocates of Nigeria and members of the opposition People's Democratic Party has faulted the claim by the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, SAN, that the National Assembly had no powers to summon the President, President Mohamed Buhari, over the rising insecurity in the country. The House of Representatives, led by the Speaker Femi Gajabi Amila, had last week invited President Buhari over the rising insecurity in the country, especially in relation to the recent killings of 43 farmers in Borono State. The chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Ainek Mahmoud Yakubu, has on Wednesday said preparations for the 2023 general elections had started. He said that the commission would work with the National Assembly to ensure a speedy passage of the amendment to the nation's electoral act in order to confront the challenges ahead. Yakubu said this in an interview with State House correspondents shortly after he took the oath of office for his second term. He took the oath before President of the Federation, President Mohamed Buhari, at the commencement of the weekly meeting of the Federal Executive Council at the Presidential Villa in Abuja. The President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, has said that the National Assembly would ensure that the new Electoral Act would be used to conduct elections slated for next year and beyond. Lawan stated this at a public hearing jointly organized by the National Assembly Joint Committee on INEC and Electoral Matters. The Independent National Electoral Commission will conduct governorship elections in Anambra, Ikiti and Oshun states before the 2023 general elections. And in business, the Nigerian Senate on Wednesday has approved a budget of 199.2 billion naira as the revised budget of the Federal Capital Territory for the 2020 fiscal year. The revised budget represents a 32% reduction in the 2020 Statutory Appropriation Act figure of 278.3 billion naira. The Senate approval followed the presentation of the report by the Chairman of the Senate Committee on the FCT, Abubakar Kiari. And Nigerians have expressed diverse views on the directive by the Nigerian Communications Commission on the suspension of new SIM sales and registration. While mobile network operators have pledged to comply with the directive, some Nigerians have said that the regulator did not consider its impact on small businesses involved in SIM registration and new businesses that would require a dedicated phone number for their businesses to run. Others commended the move saying it was critical to national security. The Chairman Association of Licensed Telecommunications Operators in Nigeria, Mr. Gbenga Adebayo, speaking with journalists, said that the mobile network operators had complied with the directive, also stating that the regulator and other stakeholders will meet to discuss the way forward. And the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Isa Pantami, has said that data prices reduced by 50% in 2020. The minister made this known in a statement signed in the earlier hours of today by his technical assistant on information technology, Femi Adelui. The statement partly read that the average cost of one gigabyte of data has reduced from the January 2020 cost of 1,000 Naira to 487 Naira in November of 2020. And the French government has hit a 135 million euros in fine on US tech giants Google and Amazon for placing advertising cookies on users' computers without their consent. The 100 million euro fine against Google is the largest sanction the regulator has ever imposed, which it justified by the fact that 90% of French internet users make use of the firm's search engine. 
and in sports, two identical headers from Karim Benzema ensured that Real Madrid sealed its place in the final 16 of the UEFA Champions League alongside Atletico Madrid and Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. And that wraps it up for us on News Now on iBrand TV at this hour. For more news stories, visit our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and follow all of our social media platforms. I am Bennett Joseph and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Thank you.